Shamrock Rovers were hoping to continue their impressive home form when they welcomed Drada to Tallis Stadium. And it was goals on their minds as Michael O'Connor put Gary Shaw through, but Stephen McGuinness stopped his effort. Drogheda were chasing their first win in nine games and when opportunity presented itself, Mark Doyle showed some quick feet. He got his shot in but couldn't hit the net. Rovers responded well, a good ball into the box, landed at the feet of Michael O'Connor but again it was McGuinness to the rescue as neither team could break the deadlock. In the second half, Rovers picked up where they left off, going on the attack and piling pressure on Drogheda. Clearly looking for improvements after a less than perfect first half. Trevor Clark found some space in the box. He laid off to Ronan Finn, who bundled back into the danger area. It eventually landed in the path of Shaw, who finished perfectly. Advantage Rovers. And they were showing some good signs ahead of the Europa League clash. Despite conceding, Drada kept battling and Sean Brennan seized the opportunity to shoot when the chance arose, but only a goal would satisfy Drada boss Pete Mahan. At the opposite end, it was all falling into place for Rovers. Some quick thinking from Aaron Bulger put Trevor Clark through on goal and he definitely wasn't going to miss. But anything Rovers could do, Drada could do too. Adam Wickstead passed into the space for Ryan Masterson. He delivered across the goal for Sean Brennan, who needed two attempts, but it eventually landed in the net and Drada had a lifeline. However, their hopes of getting back into the game were dealt a blow when Rovers added a third. Darren Meenan started the move and James Duna finished it, restoring a two-goal lead for the home side. And Rovers weren't finished yet. Gary Shaw took off down the right wing, seeing off the challenge of Kieran McGuigan. Although he made up a lot of ground and got close to goal, he couldn't convert. A poor draw to clearance fell the way of Aaron Bulger, who bagged his first senior goal. McGuinness had no chance of saving it, and it was the icing on the cake for Rovers. So Rovers showed their class and now take the momentum with them into the Europa League tie against Icelandic side Starjan. It was all smiles on the sideline, but the relegation battle for Drada rages on. Full-time Shamrock Rovers 4, Drada 1. It's been a feature of a game the last few weeks, getting players in the box and scoring goals. But on the first half, we looked miles off. And then the second half, like you said, we flooded the box and, and uh, obviously scored the four goals. It was a very, very bad start the second half after a promising first period. But uh, look, we contributed to our own downfall, giving the ball away. And uh, it was just... Uh, in the overall context of things, Rovers did deserve to win, but 4-1 and thought was a little bit flattering to it. Uh, there was some positives for us. We played a bit better than we did last week. There was a bit more of a effort from the team this week, I felt. We didn't throw the towel in, we kept going. And uh, when it was 2-1, we had a chance. But when the, the tour goal went, they had killed us, you know. <laughs>